Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So a few days ago I posted a video that was made from a sequence of images on my social media channels and I had a few messages uh, asking me how do I do that. So that's what this video is for today. I'm going to show you how using Lightroom and Photoshop you can easily create a video from a sequence of images. First of all, let's go to Lightroom. Okay, so we're here in Lightroom and you can see I have the sequence of images all lined up. One very important thing to do is to have all of them in the same aspect ratio. So I'm going to be exporting this 16 by 9 4K. So I want to make sure that the ratio of all of those pictures is the same. Okay, very easy to do. All you have to do is edit one photo and then we're going to apply all the same changes to the other photos. Okay, you can probably see that the pictures are already edited, but I'm going to show you in case they weren't so I would do my edits on picture number one okay and then I would scroll all the way to the right to the last image which is this one and you'll notice that I didn't pick all of them and you I'll explain why in just a second okay and then you would click on sync okay now you want to make sure that crop is also ticked okay because if the other pictures don't are not cropped um, they're not going to have the same aspect ratio, etc. So you want to take all of these and then you're going to click on synchronize. And it's going to apply all the settings to all the pictures. Now, this is probably going to take a little bit. It was really pretty much instant because there were no changes to do because the pictures are already edited. Once you're done, once you're happy, you're going to export these. You pick your folder and then on the where is it here resize to fit you're going to put 3840 for the large size which is uh, 4k okay and then you're going to click on export it's going to take a little bit in this case it's going to export 95 files and while it's finishing the exporting i'm going to explain why i didn't select all of them because at the end of the video i'm going to have a few of those key shots uh, that I took from this sequence to highlight them once the sequence is done. So this, the one you're looking at right now would be one of them. Now we need to go into Photoshop. Okay, while in Photoshop, you're gonna go to File, and then Scripts, Load Files into Stack. You're gonna browse those pictures that you exported. You're gonna highlight them all, click on Open. It might take a while, the, the more images you, you have to import, the longer it'll take for them to show up here. So be patient if you have a lot of them and then click OK. And now it's going to take uh, uh, quite a, a little bit of time. OK, you can see the layers at the bottom right. They're growing. That's Photoshop importing all of them. So it's going to take a little bit. Just give it some time. OK, now it's done importing. So I want to go to Window, Timeline, and it'll bring me this little window. I'm going to click on create frame animation. If you have this on create video timeline, switch it and then just create that button. And it'll appear that it did nothing. Go here on the hamburger menu, these three little lines. Okay. Make frames from layers. And once more, go there again and go to reverse frames. Okay. So now we have our sequence okay you can see it starts and it ends here so now what i do usually is i select the first frame and i go to the previous to last and i change the duration to 0 0.1 second okay and then i go to the last one and i put two seconds what's this going to do it's going to change 0.1 second per image and at the last one it stops for two seconds before it starts to loop again now you'll notice on the finished product i have a few more images so what i did was i had the sequence okay and then i had four additional pictures of key moments that i enjoyed from that sequence that i just put at the end so i did 0.1 seconds for every picture and then for the last five pictures so the last image of the sequence one second and the other key moments two seconds each but right now i'm just showing you how to do the sequence the end part you can decide if you want to have some key pictures or not or if you just want to have a sequence on its own 
Once you're happy with the result, you're going to go to file, export, and then render video. Okay. You can see my computer is a bit slow, but it'll get there eventually. Okay. So now you're going to give it a name. Really doesn't matter. YouTube. I can't even type. There we go. And then the the aspect ratio 3840 by 2160. And then you're just going to click render. And once that job is done, the video will be done as well. I'm not going to make you suffer and wait for this to be done because it's going to take uh, a significant amount of time. But that's basically it. This is how you create a video from a sequence of images. And that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Till next time, take it easy, guys. Stay safe.